I bought Pokemon cards from eBay and Etsy, and sometimes it goes well. Yo, let's go. And sometimes it doesn't. A first edition Chark, how fake that looks. Today though, we're gonna do something a little bit different and purchase Pokemon cards from wish.com. Wish.com, right? Like wish upon a star, genie gives you three wishes. Plus it just sounds better than eBay or Etsy. It's wish. Or it might end up being, I wish I'd never done this. All right, here we are on Wish and we can get a blanket, it seems, or saw blades and a whole bunch of other things. But let's scroll down and I already see a Pokemon product here. It says English version TCG expansion card, 324 pieces, Shining Fates and Evolution, Sun and Moon Unbroke and Vivid Voltage. Should be Unbroken Bonds. Uh, let's see, size, uh, one box of Evolutions, oh no. This is giving me sort of Walmart scam vibes. In my previous video, we opened up a fake Evolutions box and this could be a very similar box. We'll just do, we'll start off light. We'll do a pack of Shining Fates. Six bucks, okay, that's actually a decent price. Let's buy this thing and see what we get. Boom, description of contents card. This sets the tone for the rest of the video. So let's cut this open. Real pack, please. Oh no. You see those ridges right there? That is a sign that this is a fake pack. Oh no, <laughs> Shining Fates. That's not even what the pack actually looks like. But again, these ridges up here, these are fake cards. Wow. So it's gonna be one of those kinds of videos, I guess. Come on, came in upside down. Maybe the cards are real on the inside. Oh, we got a hit. Uh, these are definitely not real. They look almost plasticky. There's a little bit of a glare in there that we don't wanna see. This Greedon is supposed to be shiny, but uh, there's no shine in there at all. Ditto, Toctricity, there's not, oh my gosh. This is a VMAX, it's not supposed to be like that. Rapidash, Dracovic, and okay. We got doubles, a Stonjourner, and a Crobat. Wow, this one actually looks the most real, but still not real at all. Primal Law, yeah, I think this is against the law. Let's rip this in half. We shouldn't see an ink layer or a black layer, which is an in-between layer. Yeah, okay, so six bucks plus shipping for a fake pack of Shining Fates. We move on to the next product. All right, we got some Pokemon stuff like stickers and plushies. What are those plushies? A hundred people bought that, why? This looks like a storage container full of a ton of boxes. Two pounds, trading card lot, mixed vintage to modern, 55 bucks. I don't know how many cards two pounds is. Looks like assortment of cards from different games and sets. Somebody's shutting down their store, which is unfortunate, but let's see if we can pick up some goodies. 55 bucks for two pounds, let's buy it. Boom, we have a purple package that is really, really not packaged very well, but it's heavy. It's about, I don't know, two pounds. This is supposed to be two pounds, right? Let me get a scale. Hold on. Two pounds, two pounds worth of stuff. A little bit extra for the packaging. Okay, cool. Let's open this up. Ooh, we got a champion's path. All right. Ooh, cardboard, bam. Mm. I'm gonna organize these and we're gonna sort out the different types and then we'll look at them each. All right, we are sorted. Got three types of cards here. We have Magic the Gathering, we have baseball or MLB cards. Some of them really old actually. I don't know the value or worth of any of these and the conditions aren't very good at all, but there was one card, Pete Rose, I know that name. And then there's these like lenticular cards, magic cards. I used to play Magic the Gathering, but I do not recognize any of these cards other than like a lightning strike. I mean, I don't think there's anything significant in here unless you know better than me, which you likely do. So if you do see anything in here, that might be just an old circle of protection. Um, yeah, a lot of bulk here. And then we got the Pokemon cards. At least the majority of the box was Pokemon cards, but you can already tell after going through this, this is all bulk from modern era, including a lot of energies and such. There was only one hollow in this whole pile right here. A hollow Houndoom, and uh, it is my favorite Pokemon, so I'll give them that. So 55 bucks for two pounds of cards, which gets you this many. Definitely kind of a dud. Let's move on to the next thing. Ooh, look at this, a new 2021. Wait, what year is it? It's not 2021 anymore. Batman, Pikachu, genuine Pokemon, action figure, Pikachu, Pokemon collection, Pikachu, anime figures, dolls, Batman, Pikachu. What? How many times do you have to write Pikachu in a title? We get the gist, but look at this. I like Batman and I like Pikachu. I like crossover stuff. I'm curious to see if this is like a 3D printed one where you can see all the ridges or something. Also, is this actually legit? Probably not like a legitimate Pokemon product, but hey, let's go check it out. Bye. Boom, we have a really cool looking orange box. Very light. Ooh, okay. 
This smells bad. Okay, this is gonna be cool. I think this is gonna be cool. Yo, Batman Pikachu. This actually feels very nice. It's definitely not 3D printed quality. Doesn't look like they just painted a yellow face and stuck a tail and some ears on there. This actually looks really legit. Batman Pikachu. Let's stand him up. What's up? Okay. I'm happy with that. Moving on. All right, we have a celebration pack here. I wonder if these are legit. Booster Original Day 4 Cartes Hollow Brilliante Pokemon Celebrations 25 Uns. It seems to be French. Pretty dope. I'd love to see some French celebration cards. We should pick this up. Ooh, what are these? Booster Original 4 Cartes Pokemon Serie Exclusive McDonald's packs. I've never seen these packs. 2019, I'd love to see what these cards look like. I think we should buy them. In addition to the McDonald's promos, I found Cosmic Eclipse, or as it's described here, Eclipse Cosmique. Anyway, this is another French pack. Why are all the French packs on Wish? This is very interesting. But let's, uh, let's order this and let's open all the French stuff. Boom, we have a package now coming over from France. Sport Portus. Uh, that's not the right way to say it, I'm sure. All right, we got packs. A pack of celebrations, the McDonald's promos, and a pack of Cosmic Eclipse. I am hoping these are legit, right? They're not fake cards. The pack looks like it's crimped correctly. This looks like a legitimate Pokemon product. Pokemon.fr, that's awesome to see. Actually, this is really cool. Now let's open this McDonald's promo. And we got, yo. Let's go. That's cool. So we got the executor. Then we have Phantominus. Phantominus. And then Magmar. Just Magmar, right? Because Magmar is Magmar. We got a hollow too, which is awesome. And then a rhino corny. A rhino corn. These look like legit cards. Let's look at the back. Great condition. We have some French cards in our hands. Now I want some French fries. Okay, let's open up the celebrations. How cool would it be if we pulled a Charizard from the French classic collection in here. That would be super cool. Whoa, blue code card, blue code card. That's how they do it up in there. Let's see, Lugia. So that looks the same. It looks awesome. Arrow ball, and we got it in the French language. Reshiram, okay, here we go. Third slot, classic collection. Ah, Groudon and a Cosmog. Oh no, I was hoping we'd get something special there, but we got just the regular commons. Now, Cosmic Eclipse. We can see the uh, Ashes Pikachu card. Let's see what we get in here. Is the pack trick the same? Let's see. Okay, okay. One, two, three, four. We'll see what happens. How cool would it be if we got a really neat little looking hollow? Look at that energy. Bolsier Roulier. Banier Timiel Banner. We got Ball <laughs> Ballman or uh, Ball Mask. Mask Ball. What's the actual name of this guy? Ball Guy. Gee whiz, what is wrong with me? Muste Bui 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 Bui. Uh, we got Cherry Bari. Uh, Cacnea, that one's easy. Tornicotan, uh, this is the Thievel. We got uh, Brindaboo and a Volcanion. That was actually really neat. These are legit cards. This is if you are in France and you're collecting Pokemon cards and you uh, don't have access to English, this is what you would get and that is awesome. Oh, there we go, a t-shirt. Check this out. I'm going to the gym, the Pokemon gym to lift some balls. Pokeballs, what? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so this is uh, an authentic shirt. There are holes to put my head and arms and neck through it. Probably the most authentic thing that we purchased today. Actually, let me put it on. Hi. It is really tight on the neck. I don't like it. <laughs> so if I'm gonna go to the gym and, you know, pump iron, my neck veins are gonna come out and they're gonna be hindered by the tightness of the shirt. So I'm probably not gonna go to the gym, at least with this shirt on. Next, this caught my eye right here. This has gotta be fake. Pokemon TCG Expansions PM card, 324 pieces, 15 types evolution, Sun and Moon, XY, Dragon, Majesty, Mage, All Flash. This is giving me World of Warcraft vibes. I wanna know what that is. So we're going to buy that. Now I'm curious here because the same listing lists 360 piece evolutions for $35. This is giving me again Walmart vibes from my previous video and the fake version that included the Caterpie EX. I mean, okay, let's just order it and, and see what we get. Boom, this one came in a package that I already opened because I thought it was something else. Okay, we got new cards, new cards. We got more fake cards. 
all like the hollow. Whoa, these feel so strange. I thought they were like metal. There's the Mega Charizard EX. Oh, it's not mage, it's mega. They just spelled it incorrectly. But again, fake as fake can be. Absolutely fake. How doom are these companies when Pokemon maybe one day comes for them? Can this con get any more sus? Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Boom, it looks like we got a booster box. So let's open this up and see what we got. We got Fusion Strike. I did not order Fusion Strike. I don't like even the real set of Fusion Strike. Oh man. Oh no. Okay. They're not like the funky crooked edges, but I can already tell this is fake. The color is way off. The crimp is like super tiny there. It just looks like it was just like heat sealed. Dude. Dude, oh, fake. You can tell right away. Yeah, the packs don't even feel the same. Seems like the hit is reversed on the backside. What is that? I for alligator. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm not sorry, because you're not a real for alligator. Yeah, see, that's just the layer of hollow there. This is just ridiculous. Yo, we got a Chandelure VMAX with a little bit of shine on that. Cinderace VMAX. Oh, we got, we got a bunch of hits in this one. And by a bunch of hits, I mean nothing, because these are fake. This is just really sad. Not sad because I spent all this money for fake cards. At least we now know and know together as a community to not buy Pokemon cards from Wish. And yeah, you probably could have told me that earlier and I would have believed you, but I had to see it firsthand. But more than that, just there are so many fake Pokemon cards out there. Look at that Bolton. Look at that texture. It does, it's not, you can't even feel it. It's just smooth. It wasn't even the evolutions. We've selected evolutions and we got fusion. Uh, okay. Boxed cards, five piece first edition flash cards. What does that even mean? I'm so curious now. I have to get this to see what it is. What are they helping me study for Pokemon or something? Aren't regular Pokemon cards like basically flash cards anyway? Let's just buy this thing. <laughs> Bam, contents, card five pieces. Okay, let's see what we get here. Whoa, we got a Mew promo. Oh, looks like there's more cards. And I can already tell, look how glossy they are. They're absolutely fake. The coloring, it's just it's just off. As you can see, it's just a gloss. There's no really like hollow pattern. It's not 3D or anything like that. A Mew 2, okay, from base set two. Venusaur. We got the Charizard. We got the Charizard, we got the big three. By flash card, do you mean they're cards that flash like that? Let's do it, let's rip it. Yep, yep. there's the holo right there. You hate to see it. These need to get off the market. Hmm. So remember, we searched for Pokemon cards and I found this. 10,000 people bought handcuffs. Why? What are people who collect Pokemon doing? <laughs> We're getting into like the weird parts of Wish now. One, two, three piece replica cold bars, collectible souvenir coin, Switzerland bullion bar coins with different series numbers. You can get a gold bullion bar. That's different than like a bullion cube, which is used to flavor soups and stuff. Let's just as I want a gold bar and see what that's like. Whammo, gold bullion, one ounce fine gold. This is so, I mean, this is another fake thing. Apparently it's sealed shut. I want to touch the gold, All right? I don't want to cut my finger though. That's not even right, 999.9. .9. I don't even know, this is so weird. At least it's shiny. All right next, I see a PSA card here. Takashi69 signed Tattle Tales Pokemon card PSA. This can't be real. Wait, let me type in that serial number, verify. Oh my gosh, it is an actual authentic sticker. It looks like it's it's signed. Why would I want this? I'm gonna, I'm, I, no, I can't, I just, let's, let's move on. See a binder. Bad binder behavior. It's just not right. Okay, we have a ball that I'm very familiar with. Three booster packs with one coin, 24.95. I mean, we could find it's at Target and other places, but this seems to be the most legit thing that we've seen so far. It could actually be a real thing. It would be crazy if there were fake cards in there too, but this looks real. I'm gonna buy it. We're gonna open it up and pray that it is real and see what we get. <laughs> All right, we got the last package. Let's hope it's authentic because so far this video has just been full of fake things and tight t-shirts. So, okay, we have a Pokeball. It has the coin in it, that's good. And it has this plastic wrap around it, just like what we see at Target. Come on, please. And it's a sign too. Can y'all see the ball back there? We got the same ball. Let's open it up. 
Ooh, Burning Shadows, Primal Clash, and Sun and Moon Base. These look real. See what I'm talking about with the crimp? You can actually see the crimp lines there. That was not in that Fusion Strike box that we got. This is encouraging. Imagine if we pull the Charizard out of Burning Shadows. That would be bonkers because that's one of the hardest cards to pull in the modern era. So let's open Sun and Moon. And let's see what we get. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Sun and Moon Base. What is in Sun and Moon Base? Is there like a Lily in there or some other cards? Anyway, let's see what we get. A Rimbombi, Rimbombi, Primal Clash. All right, Kyogre. We can see the EX Kyogre, a real one perhaps. And I can verify these are real cards. Ooh, we have a white code card. And did I do that wrong? I totally did that wrong. That's too bad. But we did, ooh, we got a Kyogre, Reverse Hollow. Probably the best card that we pulled today. But now we got Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows. Can we get, I will scream off the top of my lungs and I will go crazy if we get that Charizard. Here it comes, I feel it. Charizard incoming. Here's Rimbombi again. Wick, Sneasel. Finish off this video of items purchased from Wish, which I wish I didn't really do. We got. A Raichu, a Raichu Hollow. So that's Wish, and I, I wish it didn't go down like that. Anyway, I wish that you will also subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. We give away a lot of stuff here on the channel all the time. All the real stuff, obviously, the fake stuff. I just, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. But anyway, check out one of these videos right here because it's gonna entertain you even more than this one just did. And who knows, maybe we'll go come back to Wish later and maybe find something good, maybe not. Anyway, take care, click on one of these. Peace out.